How's it going, everybody? Welcome. Um, I'm just, I, I had to, I, I just posted the Super Mario 3D <laughs> review and had to grab a quick snack to eat before uh, I started streaming this. Uh, holy crap, we've got a lot of people in here. Good to see everybody. Let's see, who do we have? We got Paul Adamson. First name I see there. Hi there was first in. Goku is here. Jose Sanchez. Totally awesome video games. You. Uh, Foobs, I thought about reaching out to you, buddy. Um, but I didn't know if I would have time to set it all up and be ready to go. And and uh, I know that th things are crazy for you right now. But um, I'll, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, but I hope you're doing good. But uh, it's great to see you in the chat. It's great to see DJ uh, Keho and uh, fi uh, Phase 114. Goku is here. Louis Arias and what up, Vic? Uh, Mucky Mucks, Nintendo Rex are a little too smash heavy these days. I want something new. Well, we'll see what they've got to offer, okay? Uh, we are uh, all set to go. I may ride the levels, but here we go. Uh, hopefully, you guys can hear everything okay. And I'm going to just have some tea. Uh, let's go, Metroid. Let's do it. Let me know if it's too loud. I think it might be a bit too loud. I'm just going to pop that down about there. Does that sound about right? I'm going to slide this over here just a second here. Welcome to this live rundown. Whoa, who knows what this is already? One day, Pyra just disappeared. Is this Xenoblade Chronicles X? No. Let's see what you got here. Uh, a Tales game, maybe. Xenosaga, Xenoblade. Grover Monster is here! Couldn't find it anywhere. Hopefully everything looks and sounds okay. Let me know this in the uh, in the chat, you guys. Face of all rest. The Godfather, Mr. Mass Produce. <laughs> oh, you watched the trace. review. Thank you for watching Where the review, Spidey eighty two. I'll find you, whatever it takes. There's a uh, a PR person that I know at were. Nintendo Pyra! who sounds Sorry, extraordinarily thanks. like this guy right here. It's freaking me I out a bit. Tell you. We don't know what this is yet. I, I'm sure some of you know who uh, this is. Is it a Tails game? Oh my god, this is uh, the new Smash stuff. Okay, crazy. Pyra is from... Xenoblade, yes? Hold the power of the Aegis. Smash player. You power to your smash attack with fire. That was cool. Play Nova. Prominent revolt. We're going to have a lot of smash today. Genius. You pretty much own in them. And these are seasoned fighters. There are no push -overs. Donald Denki wants to play some Madden. Talk about a tight spot. JLS8, uh... Let me handle this. JLS80, you, you will have to try Smash. It's, uh... It's got to have almost every game character known to man in it at this point. Mithra. Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Oh, hey, were these guys planning on leaving? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! These aren't the, the enhanced people from Xenoblade, right? Am I reading that right? <laughs> Labo VR support, VR grid. <laughs> My predictions yesterday were uh, Rayman, Crash Bandicoot, and more from Microsoft. We want Mr. Dream from Punch Out and Smash. Isn't he in there? Together. Nothing can stand That's our way. I want a like Zelda Remaster Collection. Let's there. get on with that. Anyway, Absolutely. And some rounds. Metroid 2D, yes. And also uh, Metroid Prime Collection as well. Xenoblade Heroes. Xenoblade Heroes, yes. 
<laughs> MLB the show in Smash might be po might, might might be Jose. Play uh, PlayStation's playing with everybody now. We expect that there could be a PlayStation announcement today, or a um, an MLB announcement in this Nintendo Direct today. This is Smash Brothers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Donald Denki. Never expected to see you two again. Well. Now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you! Ooh, fighting words. Bernie Sanders yeah. is in here, phase 114. <laughs> that would be hilarious. My favorite Switch game, Jim Dyer, is um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so I'm hoping we've got some Breath 2 stuff Nothing. in here. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct you guys hear presentations. Okay? However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I'm hoping to see some Metroid stuff. I would love some Zelda I'm stuff, to share but this I'm hoping Nintendo to see Direct some Metroid with you stuff. All today. We appreciate your continued support. Remember, the Switch launched in spring. Breath of the Wild came out in spring okay. in 2017. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Audio Super is good. Smash Great. Brothers Ultimate Great. Game, Great. Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. This Go fighter ahead. releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay. Yes! Fall Guys, perfect fit. My, my daughter Ruby's always like, why is Fall Guys on the Switch? It's because she plays on the Switch um, Lite all the time. This is great. It's a perfect fit! Oh my god. Now, are they going to Nintendo-fy this game? Are they going to add Mario costumes and stuff like that? And will this be a free download for Nintendo Switch Online people? Which would make Double sense, yes? Greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer 2021. That's it. <laughs> okay, it's coming. <laughs> minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Okay, this is um what the heck is this game? Oh, Adventure wild, into yes. the vast reaches of space. Crazy to game. The secrets left behind by an ancient Very simplistic and super complicated. You have 22 minutes. After that, Blew my the sun mind. will explode and the solar system will this be annihilated. This is a good fit as well on the Switch. All right, like However, the they're just Everything coming fast and furious, I guess, these games. Well, they're probably a Fast and Furious game, too, but there's information the announcements. Gather. I like this. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Aaron Grimshaw, none Fire of your games so far. Sound is good. Thank you, Spidey82. What messages will you discover? How can it you is very hard to control. You are correct. Gleaming 999. Maybe this... This new um, adaptation will make it a little bit easier. Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo different, Switch Summer Slightly different audience on the Nintendo Switch. They probably don't want to make it too complex. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery okay. games. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind, two deep cuts from Nintendo history, are coming to North America for the first time. Never heard of these. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. I've never heard of these. Anybody play these? Drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. Wow. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into nice these artwork. deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. So but these that's were not the only case to crack. They, these were on the Famicom. Never played them. In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. 
Can you figure out who the culprit is? What would you give the same late? hype levels you had while playing Star Wars Squadrons Metroid 4 or Breath of the Wild 2 stuff shown today? Ooh, good question, Goku. Either one or both of them would Cover blow the my mind. Truth, you might see brain Club matter all over the screen. And Famicom Detective Club, Showers the girl who stands behind. Brain goop. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14. That'd be a fun stream. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. Never played of the Famicom Detective Club. A new age of battles begins. Okay. Dan K grew up a Sega kid trying out the Nintendo stuff, but nothing grabs me. So I'm I'm just here as a gaming fan in general. What is this? Cool. Let's kill. Hey, got you. Dynasty Warriors type thing. What is this? Samurai Warriors. Okay. Five. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. We we we've got Persona Five Strikers. The we've latest got entry. Age of the Calamity. Samurai Warriors franchise is they, coming. They can take Nintendo a breath Switch. on these. Dive into the history of the It is cool to be able to play the these games. Now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga on a portable Oda machine now. With all of these characters on screen at the same time, Character it's pretty designs impressive. and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash I'm good. Moves one true Davis. Oh, I was going to make a comment about uh, Dan K's uh, Sega Kid in trying Samurai, out the, uh, the Nintendo five. stuff. That's kind of like me. I grew up with the, the DC books, and I was a DC superhero fanboy. But I've really just leaned in heavily into a lot of the Marvel the stuff. World of Huge fan of the Marvel beckons. stuff. Okay, what is this? After 20 long years, Legend of Mana, featuring remastered cool. HD graphics, is coming to Nintendo Switch. This was announced already, though, wasn't it? You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before True discovering Fred Wicks. the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items. Thank you, Goku. Artifacts. You guys make me happy. Place what I get to do in my to my life is dungeons I, I, and I, other I, lands it's surreal and it makes me happy. This it's makes up to me you happy. On when and where to place I artifacts, play this game. as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest Liz, at home. Liz, absolutely incredible game, right? It's just, the music has it's been just a breathtaking experience. Enjoy that. I'm jealous that it's all brand new for you. Soundtrack. Other features It'll have been stay added, with you. Including the ability to turn off enemy encounters. As well as wow, the new at minigame, this. Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will this launch on cool. Nintendo Switch June 24th. It's bang, 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 bang. A breath of the wild experience. Yes, Jose. Okay, Monster Hunter Rise. We knew that this was coming. This is coming soon. I enjoyed that Trials of Mana remake, though, too. I agree with you. Jade Cocoon 2 on the Switch. I don't, DJ Cahill. Not not by title. This looks really good for a Switch game. This looks really, really tight. Looks like a lot of fun, too. Uh, remember that feeling <laughs> of taking that yellow paper up to the counter at Toys R Us so and they go get your game? game? JLS 80. <laughs> That's awesome. Chris Edwards, ago, no more heroes. Three better be shown soon. Yeah, I don't think it's coming out until the end of the year, though, but I agree with you, Chris Edwards. And we suffered some devastating this looks amazing. How can we fight against that? Our hunter's about to face the oh, can't biggest wait. challenge. Um, a Jade Empire no. remake would be cool. That was a game. very cool game, Pull but I remember together. all the characters in the town just standing around. Is the audio on the screen too loud? Let me let me know, you guys. Else. 
Michael Santiago, uh, nothing to report yet. Okay, but thanks for thinking of the uh, think of thinking of us in there. Thanks for the good vibes on that. Uh, never been into Monster last? Hunter, but I think I'm diving into this one. That one's from Plop. That's a fun name to say, Plop. Uh, looks great. You know, Audio is perfect. We great. We should start preparations awesome. right away. We're here to offer assistance. Look at those weapons. We those are hilarious. The bigger than the people. I love it. <laughs> Jade Empire was so good. Yes, it was. God, I love Bioware. Look at that. Gorgeous. That is not. That was the latest trailer away. for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Machiavelli 89 CM. Next. Somebody please, please wake that this. person up. Thanks, Liz. Oh the yeah, baby! Is open once again. Nice. Tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, cool. coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, you know what? Somewhere in the world, study the wind and terrain. Greg Miller's Take is your flipping to the f out through. right now. He's then freaking out. Swing. This looks great. Enjoy These golfing Mario with golf games are always so Kingdom fun. Characters on courses filled with lush natural scenery. Perfect fit on the Switch too, right? Because the, like the golf experiences that Nintendo has, has made, have made, has made, and have made, uh, have been great in handheld mode. You know, on on These portable platforms can help in the past. So it's great shots. that it's going to have nice fidelity at home, and in then you can take it with you, controls, maybe you even to the course. Controls by holding a Joy-Con controller when like the a pandemic's golf club. over. But that is so cool. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game. I don't know about the motion Letting controls, but that is enjoy the sensation awesome. of golfing. On top of all that, there are several oh, modes Dan K, that, that chat is up. That was a, uh, I think golf, the last video I posted before Speed the end golf. of the year was with uh, Joe from GameStack and John Linneman uh, from Digital Foundry, time, and it was a terrific conversation. Course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents. Oh, yeah. if, if, if you haven't played the top. Mario Golf games, you're in for a treat. The only that These play. are always Make super fun. Dashes and special I think the first one I played was on the N64, and it blew my mind. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, nice. you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. It's then, it, it's really interesting. Like different stats, the more years that stack up for Nintendo, the more like. pressure it is on the company and its developers play. to make Cut your golfing skills truly to the test extraordinary Mario, Mario experiences. Rush, They've always been Nintendo really good Switch, at it, June but I feel like they just have such a precious e commodity there. They don't ever want to fumble. And they have. There have been some disappointing Mario games game in the past, in but the I Mario feel Golf series it's, it's, uh, it's something you can kind of bank on at this point. As well as the familiar golf gameplay with We live in a society, pathet controls. pathetic earthling. <laughs> Please look forward Everybody to laughing about that Nintendo was the Switch. funniest thing about that. Because I didn't Let's know what the hell was going on. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out Needs these a Mario Golf Nintendo cart Switch. mode. Yes, I like that. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Oh, that's cool. This Play was a good game. Lackey, I think Reese, Foobs, you and Ben reviewed these. Con artist Fiona, if I'm not mistaken. Set to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes, filled with classic Borderlands humor. <laughs> Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the Fred, obstacles you may be alone with that one, my friend. Narrative adventure. Swing away Embark golf. on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands says, launches uh, on Nintendo Switch Mario Golf, March golf 24. long overdue on the Switch. 32 Ooh, of Capcom's this? most beloved arcade 32? classics are coming to Nintendo 32? Switch. 32! Rewind gameplay, adjust I like game speed that. or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options cool. to that sweet arcade goodness. Yes. Hit 1943, the Battle of Midway for free. Then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. What? Oh! Very cool. Brains. That looks great. 
As a zombie, you just can't get enough Stubs of the zombie. Game from a spy, oh my god, this is an original Xbox game. By turning humans into your undead allies. I think Seamus Blackley was just talking about this game. Gut grenades and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. This was developed by one of the founders of Bungie and his team, Alex Seropian. I remember visiting them. I think they were in Chicago. That this is wild. Wow, that's a blast from the past. It's Travis Stubbs. versus Assassins. Unbelievable. Wait, aliens? What? Aliens have invaded Earth. Before even the, the right middle game? of the year, guys. Anyway, after annihilating an entire yes! city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. God, I can't wait for this. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough <laughs> to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. I love Suda 51. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics okay. carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. Okay. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. This looks cool. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some, uh... Whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it all makes sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, oh, okay. Nintendo Switch. Not quite August the 27th. middle of the year. But soon. Yes! We know when we're getting it. Amazing. Demons in he heaven. What is this now? As above. There's so how many below. has it been 50 games so far? How many games have we seen? Plop, you keep a count? <laughs> Uh, do someone's dirty work. Rare replay on the uh, Switch. I like the sound of that. Good idea, Plop. Sacrifice cards. Okay, so it's... Are, are you actually controlling where you're going, or is it a real shooting thing? Wild. It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. This looks trippy. Annapurna's God's uh, judgment investing and publishing publishing it. really cool things. They're very uh, uh, good at curation and finding some really clever game ideas. Neon white. That looks cool. Little mirror's edge. Uncover Good heaven's one. More mysteries fish scale. in neon white. Coming to Nintendo Switch, winter 2021. Okay. So winter 2021 is still the, DC the first half of the year. The DC superhero girls are here what? to save the day. Ooh, my kid might dig this. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. Mm, I don't know. AKA Batgirl. I'm always okay. inventing new gadgets to fight crime. Okay. Like my batarangs That's and cool. That hook. This is Supergirl. She's super yes. strong. Yes. And has heat vision. Plus super breath. Oh man, I can't wait to and tell my kid about this. Wonder Woman, an Amazonian and I'm gonna play it too. <laughs> who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. Awesome. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. That's so cool. We finally Sometimes have some nice good superhero some shopping downtown with female led superhero video games. Well, we don't know if it's good yet, but we're, we're finally getting these. That's hey, great. I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one can oh, I hope this is coming, a good game. But when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. Looks we cute. just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Super right on Girls GLS80. Team Power, heroically sourced on Nintendo 4th. Switch, cool. June 4th. I'm glad that Warner Brothers is investing in this direction. Hopefully it's Ready good, fingers crossed. and prepare for battle. It does not look state-of-the-art, Danny Barziger. Absolutely. What are we playing now? What's this one? Plants vs. Zombies. Right. But this is... Is this battle for the... Neighborville? Yeah, okay. This was fun. The sweet, the sweet Justice, the Zack Snyder version. <laughs> Will 
Will, Galar Will Gelgar is saying that the Switch gets everything. The Switch is selling. The Switch is very popular. And I would imagine that, you know, people are actually spending real money on games on the Switch. I think the other machines are very loaded with games that last forever. And the Switch, because it's sort of in that middle of the mobile space and the uh, and the console space, and there's a lot of games that you can complete on the Switch. I think it's doing um, a lot of indie stuff. I think it's doing some pretty good numbers. Uh, playing this on EA Play right now, Fred Wicks. Yeah, it's a good game. Anyone can. Okay, what is this? Is this Band another me thing? On a okay, quest to face evil okay. And save this is like the old faces. 3DS game. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast me characters in various cool. roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added Drew as Kennedy, a new feature in this Kennedy, got that game. right, man. Glam up your mees and get them uh, ready for adventure. We finally get some female-led superhero games. There's then they show you feature, having to purchase tank tops and take selfies to get comments and try to get the best. Letting you make them even more fabulous. Uh, it's from JR Comedy. Uh, In the world Lance of Metopia, S, pretty underwhelming so far as I so expected. Okay, Lance S. Time with allies to Not having a great bonds. time yet. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good! Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. <laughs> Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp, Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch, May 21st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Return of Samus on the Switch. Settle for that. That would be amazing. That game was awesome. Super Mario-themed items are coming to your okay, island. Okay, right, right, right. They announced this already, but here we get a chance to check it out. Okay. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary-themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Diddy Kong Racing, Mario, Mario. Familiar Deep items that. like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in-game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. That's pretty cool. Completely transforms the you can island. Also place two warp pipes. Oh, that's cool. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. Oh wow, that's a great idea. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? A free update for the game launches February 25th. Cool. My After downloading will love it, this too. Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. Uh, new you gen consoles always collect dust. Island. It's better to wait, Mr. Mass Produce. How was with, that? With the logic bomb. These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait you a got bit that right, longer Fred Wicks. for their release. They're just getting started here. Speaking of which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World Plus My review of this Fury game. just hit today. I got I it hope you enjoy for the weekend. Mario adventure as well. It's very fun. Next, we have another game to show you. There have been a lot of games so far. I, I should have kept I should have kept score. How many games have we seen so far? I think Mario Golf is the the, the highlight so far for me. And and then uh, um, No More Heroes 3. Now what is this? HD 2D series. He no recourse. Swords. Oh. Never. S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Right. Are these the wages of loyalty? Is it a sequel to Octopath, or is it a corpses. totally different game? You and no other must decide how we proceed. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. 
I promise to do all in my power to see this us through this cool. safely. Every last one of Bowser's us. Fury adds, uh, I mean, I, I don't want to qualify it in terms of uh, Project Triangle strategy. That looks super cool. Far, far away lies the continent of Norzelia. Um, I don't want to quantify it in terms of hours, but you get a bunch of islands of that are like levels from the game. The but now you can move the around them like you're in Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, ignited into a so great it's a, conflict it's, it takes elements from Iron War. Super Mario the 3D World and turns it into like Mario truce. Sunshine type Decades mechanics. Later, the flames of and it's, uh, to engulf it's the amazing. Once it's, again. it's a massive open space and you can travel between the islands and find all kinds of secrets and mysteries in any direction that you want. From Glenbrook and it's fights fluid to save their and the dynamic the powers that would um, weather their changes. Our benefit, it's say. a complete ah! addiction. It's really great. It's really tuned. It's not super long, but there's a lot to RPG, uncover. And you can finish it and go back and then find more stuff elevations. as well. Um, but then the core 3D world is excellent too. And their so, the range spoiler alert. By it's a great from game. Higher ground with long wow, this is Octopath Final Fantasy Tactics. Arrows. I am in. Your forces can use the this looks cool. Project Triangle Strategy. The upper hand. Odd name if that's the An name. Enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to yeah, your initial attack, have but Odyssey also kind of vibes, right, Super Bob? The ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Charge into an enemy. To Elliot Jones, that's great. Into position my daughter and I played it. There's attack. some footage of, of my kid and I um, playing the game together. together by first in the review. Ice magic on the flames to create water she didn't play enough that I could record her, then electrify the her area review with on the game, magic. unfortunately. Roblox has got her. She it loves Roblox because she can connect with all of her friends. Before taking action. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your JLS decisions this will establish does look your really conviction, lovely, doesn't it? affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Once more, I would ask you plainly, do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've will gathered Gilgar, to this sway is clearly an important title for Square cause. and Nintendo. The story will significantly change based they know what on they how got the votes here. are cast. Octo Tactics so LL. That's us. awesome. Lies. Red Dead on the His Switch. The original one. As more Why and not? More and the, uh, made, your uh, may the Grand Theft. Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City and San Andreas should be on here too. Is. If not Grand Theft Auto 5. I love that Ruby Project plays games with you. That's how I connect with my own dad. My favorite memories were playing Halo together when I was like eight years old. Yeah, she's a huge gamer. Loves them. And this year, of course, because everybody's got to stay disconnected, she, she has really connected with friends through games. And it's been a little too much, but uh, great to see that there are some tools for connection out there. Uh, hey, Victor, what's going on? Well, the Nintendo Direct is actually happening right now, Media Glitch. It's live. This is what's going on. Triangle strategy to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Triangle okay, strategy, what's it called? More it's a strange Switch name. Headlines. Wow, gonna be getting that one. It does look great though, doesn't it? Uh, Trampus Hog. Do you have what it takes. Okay, what is this? Hunters. Ooh. What? What is this? Another Star Wars game? There's so many Star Wars things happening right now. What's happening with this? What is this? Star Wars Hunters. What? What? Star Wars oh, this Hunters is the Zynga is a game. competitive, free-to-play online game set between Episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. They want it to be triple-A console quality, so we'll see, Zynga. We'll see. <laughs> Do I look at you? We have skepticism, but we'll see. Take one. Okay, what's this? We all play for different reasons. Hmm. 
Gorgon love battle. Gorgon used many weapons. Triple-bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul-devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. In my line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, Daniel C with simple. the perfect Gorgon question. What this? In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. What this? I can catch bullets. <laughs> it's like video game, generic video game characters fighting each other. It's uh. Let's find out what sound your face makes. Okay. It's like um. A Fortnite without guns kind of thing. Be the ball. Be the ball. Me. A little bit more that? family friendly. Heads up, your highness. Eat Total wreck it, Ralph. Farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. What? Interview's over. Oh, come on, man. One more yeah, game. Yeah, no guns. Knockout City. Okay, from Velen. Uh, or fight Velon. I forget how you the, 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 those, those are the guys that did the uh, the Mario tight. Kart um, to toy. I forget the name of that. The Mario Kart um, from the creators of the oh. Danganronpa and Zero Escape the series. The RC Mario Kart experience. Life. Forget the name Literally. of it. Literally disoriented and trapped in an uh, underwater the, theme This direct park, feels very cheap. Feels like the, go the console Club. is for now kids. Now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't know. There's been a couple of good ones. Sorry to scare you. I don't know about that. That triangle strategy. Mario canceled. Golf. No More Heroes 3. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan. But everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits Liquid you all 3, at the end of your journey? Profound the statement. battle for We're survival begins in World's Giga. End Club, venturing onto <laughs> Nintendo Switch. I don't May know what this was about. I, I was talking and reading. World's End Club. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. Mm. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year So is Nintendo awards, publishing is this then? a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the It's a big deal that Nintendo's the got this in their direct. download code for the Hades original soundtrack. Wow. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood-pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous Supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, Beautiful game. offering dozens of hours of exhilarating I've, action I've paired been with a compelling the story. 90s, I am, uh, Escape the underworld again, I'm or for still the going first strong. time, with the physical Glad version of Hades going strong after on all March these years 19th. on TV and YouTube. Ah, thank you so much. It's because you've been watching Three your support. Games, That's why we're here. One Absolutely. Collection. Ninja, Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden Sigma. Oh my goodness. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja oh, Gaiden 3 Razor The Edge infamous Ninja Gaiden 3. Nintendo Switch as the action-packed <laughs> Ninja Gaiden Master That's cool collection. though. I could see a lot of Joy-Cons getting broken playing this game. <laughs> You are the legendary ninja oh, Ryu Hayabusa. These are amazing. The well, the first two are amazing are games. I know they fixed the third one, weapons, right? Each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. That is pretty rad. You engage your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos, and team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. Intense, incredible action. All previous so good. downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. 
Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. It looks like there's 69, unless they zoomed in. Will Gulger. Summer 2021. Okay, that's pretty cool. Three. I I I can't even remember what was wrong with three, but it felt. That was when uh, Itagaki san had left Team Ninja. So, what's happening with Age of Calamity? New DLC? They fixed it, Blair Farrell. I, I forget what was wrong with it, but it just felt off. Didn't feel like the uh, Ninja Gaidens that we had known and loved. I, I reviewed that three with Jones, and he hated it. Oh, it's the expansion pass, so a bunch of new characters. Okay. Breath of the Wild 2 right after this? Maybe. Maybe. Let's hope. Let's see what's happening. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay, we're getting a blast of things. Okay, here Bravely we go. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon this embark on a too. journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the brave and default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can Epic enjoy Mickey, this brand new Giga story Vega. on February 26th. Those games never sold that well, A though. new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. Okay. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. Cool. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins oh. series comes to life. Oh yeah, the they Brave showed Knight this Arthur, off you'll already. Unleash weapons, spells, but it looks and skills cool. to battle monsters across challenging like stages puppets. within the demon realm. Wow. Local co-op play so is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Huh. Barry for defense, Carrie for transportation, or Archie for that bridges. Looks fun. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists. There have been a lot eight of captivating games. Journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles. And I love that Switch kind of lives in this Celis. moment Saga of Frontier like it's super connected to the classics to and the, uh, the game launches April 15th. The older sort of visual style of games from the 80s and Apex 90s. Legends is storming and it's, the Nintendo Switch system. It's got this free -to -play stuff Battle that's Royale approaching a growing roster of powerful the other machines too. Legends, visually. Combat. Cross -platform play it's sort of right in the middle of all, all that, it's, on and Switch it's like a catch-all. All, all of those types of games scheme. kind of work on this platform. And 30 free levels for the it's Season really 8 cool. Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn uh, what was that, XP Saga Frontier? I don't, I don't think that's a PlayStation Fortune, seller, fame, you know, but on Nintendo Apex Switch, Legends it kind of makes sense. The fray, March 9th. How's it going so far? March 10th. There's still a little bit more to show you in okay. today's Nintendo Direct. Yeah, I guess it's so we hope you'll stick with nine us. minutes. Next, please take a look at this. Okay. <laughs> He's got a big smirk on his face. Oh, Hello there. There I'm AG Aonuma, producer of the oh Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda. Breath yes, of we Wild did. Game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. Bah! We apologize. Jeez. I want that shirt. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Man. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait Total just a psych bit out moment. Oh. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Okay. All right, so Breath 2, no. But this, Skyward Sword, here we go. Love this game, it was great. Ah. Yeah, I got totally obsessed with this game. I think I could... I think I could play it again. Looks good. It w it's an amazing game, but it had the Wii Rumble or the Wii Mode controls, and it drove people crazy. I stuck with it though, and fell in love with it. Like it, it's another superb Zelda game. That's cool though. Okay, anybody finish that game on the Wii? 
What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, the Daniel C. Zelda Skyward you, I, Sword I'm really a envious in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword of people that have never played this game. As a and I know a lot of people failed because of the motion of controls, the but it's Switch good. System. It's the a controls really good here game. are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. <laughs> The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting oh, the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But, but we've okay. <laughs> also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played so. in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. Right. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Okay. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Okay. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick okay. in the respective direction. I guess there have been some sword combat experiences Here's like that. Here's something else we've been working on. Oh. Specially designed oh. Joy-Con controllers. Oh. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, oh, while the cool. left features a Hylian Shield oh, motif. Oh, Nintendo. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Selling as you the hardware game you depicting don't need. the earliest story oh, my in God. the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. That's cool. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. Okay. The Legend July of Zelda 16th. Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And, and the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, mm. using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, right. even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Yeah, it's a great game. I do want to play it again. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I think I liked it as much as Twilight Princess. Well, I think Wind Waker is a think? little bit more interesting. The though. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Okay. Please take a look at this. Metroid! Let's do it! Something brand new? Oh, Splatoon. I, I sounded off when he said he wanted to play it again. I still have it quite fresh in my memory, Diego. There's other Zelda experiences that I wouldn't mind revisiting before Skyward Sword, but it was great. Little buddy's turn. Okay, cool. What are they gonna do? Oh my god, look at that. It's dystopian Splatoon. <laughs> <It's>
that giant fish. Danny Barziger already scored this, 4 out of 10. This direct is poor. Yeah, I think we wanted some bigger a a atomic bomb drops, right? We wanted some bigger news, just, just some total mind-blowing stuff. Let's see what this game is like, though. Let's get the gameplay, let's see. Okay, it's three. And no gameplay. Come on, let's see it. Okay. year what you've just seen is the latest installment in the splatoon series splatoon 3 this game is scheduled to launch in 2022 so it'll be a while we hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. Reading the comments, a variety sir. of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Miles, good to see you. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let's go to, uh, let's go to full screen here so I can, uh, I can chat about it just before uh, YouTube jumps us into another thing here. Here we go. Uh... No, not full screen game. There we go. I don't know. What did you guys think? Certainly not as uh, massive a direct as, as we were all hoping, right? I mean, they, they haven't had one since September. Let's see the predictions that I had. I had I had uh, Crash Bandicoot and Smash not happening. Microsoft partnering more with Nintendo on some Smash stuff. Somebody mentioned uh, um, well uh, the Rare Replay, which Microsoft owns, would be amazing on Nintendo Switch. Didn't happen. Um, yeah, I don't know Mario Golf. I think that's the that's the biggie today uh, for me. Uh, which is insane. Um, no More Heroes 3, I can't wait for it. Didn't look like it was going to like revolutionize video games or anything, but it looks like it's going to be super, super fun. Goku is totally disappointed. Comes out with a 1 out of 10. Um, I want to check out the Capcom arcade collection because I'm a big fan of the old arcades, uh, and I love Capcom, and they also had the, um, uh, the Ghosts and Goblins kind of refresh, which is coming out this month. We've got uh, Bravely Default 2 and Monster Hunter. We knew th those were coming. They didn't show off Crash Bandicoot 4, which I think this would have been a pretty good uh, opportunity for them to show off that Crash, a new Crash game is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Um, the Star Wars Hunters uh, Zynga game was a lot of hype, but we didn't see what that was going to be about. The uh, Knockout City game... Um, which looks like it's kind of like a more kid-friendly uh, dodgeball battle royale type experience, like a hero non-shooter. Um, I don't know. We'll see. That could be cool. Like it's made by good people. That these are all, these are all X Vicarious Visions people that understand really tight gameplay. Uh, but maybe that that might not have been the best demo. That Splatoon three demo at the end was actually quite deflating. It was not that cool, was it? It was. Uh, it was a little taste of gameplay that looks very familiar to Splatoon fans. Um, the story stuff looked like it could have been interesting, and maybe they should have developed that and, and shown us a little bit more of that. Skyward Sword coming out for uh, the Switch is something that we could predict in the 35th year of the of the Zelda franchise. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to playing that again, but it's not 
like I've said, it's not the Zelda that I, I would love to see remade. You know, I would love to see them do a collection with uh, uh, the uh, Link to the Past and um, Wind Waker, maybe some of the DS games uh, or the Game Boy games. That would be super cool. Some kind of really cool compendium, you know. And honestly, Skyward Sword should be included in that. I don't know if it should be resold as a separate thing. Um yeah, it was just, it was okay. I mean, there's some stuff to be excited about. Certainly, we don't get a sense of, uh, you know, they showed us a, a target of 2022 visuals with Splatoon 3. So there is no kind of whisper of uh, an upgraded Switch, not in this uh, showcase, but also not in any of the software that they're showing us that's coming out later on this year. Um, and I feel like it's it, it's it's about time, right? But... You know, a lot of people, they they just got the Switch last year. It's a brand new machine to them. It's been selling and selling and selling. The Animal Crossing franchise brought people to this platform. And it's a new experience. So I think Nintendo knows they have a long roadway with the, you know, the non-hardcore audience out there. But us hardcores, we want um, we want some more mic drop moments. And, and that was total bait and switch to uh, have Anuma out there, and it's not Breath 2. That was, uh, that was crazy. They knew it, though. Uh, let's see. I'll read, I'll read a few of the comments. You guys are coming in fast and furious with comments here. I've got to stop saying fast and furious. <laughs> okay. Uh, Knockout City was the biggest surprise, Mr. Brockerock. You know, uh, I, 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 it's Velon, or is it Velen? Could be Velen. The Velen team is amazing, and that Mario Kart... RC game, which I cannot remember. Grand Prix something? I, f I forget. It was so cool. The, the technology all working in there. And they are really focusing on being gameplay first. So that Knockout City thing might actually be incredible when it's all said and done. We'll see. Um, they did show off Apex Legends, right? They did show it off. Uh, is it Apex Legends? I forget what it's what it's called. Um, but they showed that off. The triangle, um, the triangle strategy experience looks fantastic. It's like an Octopath Traveler fused with uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm into that. Uh, which is weird to say, right, Jose? Jose says every other Zelda game before Skyward Sword. I feel like they've. They're releasing it because it was probably missed by the most people. And the Wii was such a massive success, but people didn't uh, didn't go and, and gravitate towards that specific Zelda game. I think by the time Skyward Sword had come out, there was latent uh, and broad skepticism about the whole, you know, motion control thing. And there had been so many other people like the... The uh, the move controller for PlayStation and I think Connect was also being hyped by that point. Everybody was just like exhausted on it, and then Skyward Sword came out and actually did a decent job with the motion controls, but it did ask you to you know flail for the, the entirety of that very long game. Um, let's see. It's weird that it was it was weird that Splatoon three is a year away. I mean. I, I miscalled this, the first Splatoon game. I, I wasn't that impressed by what it looked like visually. And, of course, I played it, and my mind was blown. It was super cool, and I love Splatoon 2 as well. It's weird that we've already had a Splatoon game on this platform. Um, so, I you know, my, my lack of being super stoked about Splatoon 3 might um, uh, prove to be completely misplaced because it could be super cool next year. Um, but it did look familiar, didn't it? By 2011, people had moved on from the Wii, and even Nintendo had largely removed Waggle from their games. That's from Blair Farrell. Um, I know you guys are waiting for Breath of the Wild 2, but here's Skyward Sword is like saying, I know you guys are waiting for a COVID vaccine, but here's a polio vaccine. <laughs> That's from Daggy A. Oh, my God. Ben O'Heaven or uh, Mario Golf look cool. That was about it for me, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, how weird is it that a... The the, I think that was the standout game of this whole shebang was Mario Golf and how weird was it? This was the first, I I think the first direct since September of 2019, if I'm not mistaken, and Mario Golf is the big game, 
and it was just sort of dropped into the middle of the of the presentation. Question: Was the Mario Kart RC set uh, something that? Uh, you only play with once and then put it at the bottom of the closet. No, there's actually a lot of depth and detail in there, but you need to have the room and uh, uh, you do have to set it up, you know, and then you got to put it away and all that stuff. And so I played it and I talked about it, but I've been busy with so many things that I have and I, I want to play it more, but I really dig it. It's really cool. It's really tuned, but you need to spend some time with it. I, I just feel like repeatedly yelling, Batman! Yeah, where's the Batman, right? There was no Batman in there. We did get some, um, uh, the superhero girls, though. Batgirl and Wonder Woman and Supergirl. I actually am very psyched about that game. Uh, Triangle Tactics was the highlight for me. That was from Scott Michael Hedge. Yeah, that looked great. Nintendo still coasting on 30 million Animal Crossing sales. IT Noetic. Um, I, well, also they're ramping up for the year too, right? Like this is the first thing in February where they're showing off some of the stuff that's coming out. They still have plans for stuff this year. Uh, let's see. So I think, I think that they're going to have a big year this year for sure. And I do, I do feel like Metroid is going to be an ingredient in there, but it was weird to not have anything on Metroid again. Come on. And like, I honestly, I want 2d Metroid, right? Who's with me on 2d? The speed of uh, the the speed Mario uh, the speed golf Mario reveal was awesome. Better party game than the Mario Party on Switch. That was from Mr. Brock Rock as well. Pokemon 25th anniversary was expecting a snap preview. Oh yes, we also know that Pokemon Snap is coming as well. Uh, Louis Arias and that was from Trevor. 87 that said that about Pokemon Snap. Louis Arias, they should have announced a Philips CDI Zelda collection for the 35th anniversary. Got some smart asses in the chat. Uh, Daggy A, I know. Oh, okay, the vaccine. I already said that one. I was, ex uh, Graham Coombe says, I was expecting a bigger Smash reveal. It was built up so much. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I could kind of figure out that it was Xenoblade, but I, I don't know. There's so many characters in the Xenoblade universe. Um, and, and there's a lot of similarities with a lot of these JRPGs that sometimes you can get them all confused. So it wasn't like it wasn't like Crash Bandicoot or Master Chief. You know what I'm saying? Um, it wasn't that epic scale. Uh, this felt like an appetizer. C. McDonald says Nintendo has big tings in the work this year. Did you need a, to make an accent on that? The Ninja Gaiden collection that looks pretty cool. There's a lot of revisited classics in this. Um, direct, which I, I, you know, as I was saying, I think that it kind of fits within the, the Nintendo spectrum. The switch feels like, um, I guess, cause it's a culmination of so much uh, education that Nintendo picked up with all the portable work that they've done and the console work. And they've sort of merged it all into one. It kind of feels like it's a magnet for all of it, you know? And, I, I really admire that about the platform that you can play some, you know, super 8-bit looking stuff. I'm playing Olia right now from uh, Devolver and it looks like it, it came off of an Atari 800 computer. But you can play some really retro looking classic stuff, some legit retro stuff, and then some modern stuff like Astral Chain. And it all just sort of fits within the spectrum of the of the platform. Um I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty wild. I don't think that's been true for video games all the way along, you know? I know that uh, a lot of 2D stuff was hard to sell on the PlayStation platforms. I think the fact that there was so much 2D stuff with the Saturn um, and so much emphasis on 3D with PlayStation and the Nintendo 64 made the Saturn a tough sell for a lot of people. Uh, but here's the Switch with a little bit of it all. Vic, are you going to get the Skyward Sword themed Joy-Cons? I, I I would review them, so I'll ask Nintendo if they want to send some out to me, but I don't know if I would buy them for the Switch. I, I think like... I think most of us right now, we're kind of feeling like an announcement of new Switch hardware is imminent, right? Maybe it's a 1.5 on what we have. Maybe it's the, the Switch XL or whatever. I don't know what they're going to call it. Uh, but I think we're all kind of feeling that. And I don't know if the Switch Joy-Con uh, assortment is going to work on whatever new hardware Nintendo eventually releases. Um, so... Uh, you know, although there are devices and, and uh, like, I love the new Mario Switch that's out there and that Animal Crossing Switch is called to me. That's the one that Jose picked up. But I've been kind of waiting for Nintendo to say, nope, here's the 
here's the one plus or here's the here's the uh you know the the next level of what the switch means uh hello jordan cunningham so long answer is i probably won't and the other reason is that i don't really use the joy con all that much especially now i'm not traveling right so uh um at home my switch is usually docked and that's the way that i play most of my stuff right now um and uh, so I don't use those Joy-Con very much. I use the Pro Controller. Um, Mario Golf looks excellent. Chris Wynn says, Neva says, I wanted more Nintendo Switch online perks. Yeah, it would have been nice to see a little bit uh, of a deeper dive into the catalogs on NES and Super Nintendo, uh, Neva says. Um, but also it would have been nice to have an N64 reveal, right? Particularly because they're taking Super Mario 3D All-Stars off the market at the end of March. Uh, and that kind of suggests that they've got an N64 plan in the works. Nintendo is so late to the party, though, in console upgrades, they won't announce a new Switch until at least next year. You think so, Jose? I guess, I mean, it would have been, this probably would have been it, right, for the time to announce the upgrade. But maybe they want to shift it so that it, because... I mean, if we just look at what they did with the launch of the Switch, this is the time period, but maybe they want people to think about that upgrade for the holidays. We'll know. We'll know soon. Um, Decent Direct from Adam uh, Dehastani says there 100% should have been some Breath of the Wild 2 news of some sort, though. Yeah, all we got is the cool T-shirt that that guy wore. Maybe they're selling it at Nintendo.com. Hey, brother, good to see you. No more... uh, Heroes 3 release date. Yes, I'm excited about that. Uh, Nicola Rosa says, oh, Nicola Rosa says, hey, brother, good to see you. Really hope they'll announce a new Metroid. How's it going, Nick Pink? Good to see you, buddy. Miss you. Uh, yes, we need some new news on Metroid. Absolutely. Maybe the Breath of the Wild delay made them delay the upgraded console. Mike Williams, very smart, very shrewd observation right there. I think wouldn't be, um, uh, it would kind of makes sense that they're going to uh, launch a new Switch with a new Zelda or a new Mario. Um, good Direct, Blade Blur says, uh, Good Direct, just wish we got some Bayonetta 3 news. We got some No More Heroes 3 news. They exist in that same kind of sphere, you know? Um, I wouldn't mind some Astral Chain 2 news. Needed more Spelunky news. I th- Can we all agree... Awat Khalid says, uh, Vic is sad, no new Switch. I, we've just been talking about this new Switch now for two years, man. Where is it? Where's this Switch? Not sad. I guess a little sad, but I, I, I'm just waiting for the thing. You know, like we know it's coming. Where's the thing, Nintendo? We're waiting for it. Uh, Mondo Blasto Zero says, I suppose if they improve Skyward Sword and fix Ninja Gaiden 3, that can't be a bad thing, but give them... Uh, Give them the releases they deserve. That is true. That is absolutely true. Those are awesome games. Uh, let's see. Eight out of ten. If the Star Wars game is good, from Machiavelli, eighty-nine centimeters. Uh, grade nine games. How about that, Indiana Jones? Yes. We got to wait for that one. I was happy about No More Heroes three, but Crash and Smash would have been perfect. I think we need to make that a hashtag: Crash and Smash. Um, let's see. Jeff Meacham says, I'm glad we got Skyward Sword on the Switch. Yeah, I mean, if you have never played Skyward Sword, you should be very happy. That is a very cool game. And uh, if you're a Zelda fan, uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with that title. So I think, can we agree, though? Because we know Zelda 2 is coming. But can we agree that the biggest disappoint about, uh, uh, disappointment about this specific Direct, nothing on Metroid. No 2D Metroid. No Metroid Prime 4. That is a bummer. I mean, maybe they're going to do it all as a big blast. They also could have done the uh, Metroid Prime trilogy. Um, What are they going to do? Like, are they going to release them all at the same time? Because we know that stuff is coming. Are they going to do the trilogy and here's 4? Or is 4 now a 2022 game? I think the lack of Metroid is really disappointing, disconcerting. But that's what we should have seen here. Uh, account one. Hey, Victor, uh, uh, what would you think if a folding of a, cl- a folding clamshell clam shell switch configuration that resembles a 3DS XL type design? 
Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that as long as the software kind of moved in that direction or they said, okay, now you can, uh, you know, unlock a lot of 3DS and DS type content somehow. Maybe you can... Uh, um, subscribe and you get all of access to all that software and then developers are working on new things. But it feels like that might carve up the development resources. And I think that's what the Switch was all about this time, learning a lot from the success of uh, you, you saw, you know, consoles like the PlayStation 4 and, and uh, the Xbox One, um, trying to simplify. Now with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox uh, Series platforms, the, these console manufacturers are trying to make it easier for more developers to uh, get stuff up and running on their platforms. And the Switch is all about that. You know, I've heard about uh, lots of indie developers and lots of AAA uh, teams and developers just praising how easy it is to get software up and running on the Switch. And, and that focus on getting people content um, has served the business really well, you know. Even in the face of a pandemic, people were able to build incredible games last year. And that would not have been the case if we had a GameCube and, uh, uh, the, you know, a PlayStation 3 and an original Xbox sort of in that grouping, you know. Developers have been able to kind of grapple with the architecture that's out there. Got to go, but thanks for sharing your thoughts during the Direct. Maybe it'll be a March Metroid. Maybe. I mean, maybe this is the beginning of uh, what's going to be happening throughout the uh, 2021 time frame. That would be great. Uh, not related, but any thoughts on Tommy's Amico? I can't wait to try the Amico, Jim Dwyer. Uh, I'm very excited for Tommy. I think that he absolutely has, he and his teams have absolutely surmised that there is a marketplace out there that doesn't want to deal with the, uh, you know, hard hardcore sort of game purchasing and um, carving up tons of time to play a lot of these games. They don't want to deal with the complexities and the intricacies of a lot of modern games. They just want to sit down with their families and play stuff that's pick up and play and easy and fun. Um, I think that that market exists for sure. And you can point at the success of mobile games as an example of that. It's, a, it's different because a lot of that stuff is free. Uh, but you know the way that they're going about marketing and selling the uh, Intellivision Amico is very shrewd, and um, the retail interest in the hardware I think is is proving that out as well. You know, and the types of places that is are, are going to sell the Amico is very interesting as well. It does it's definitely not in the competitive space with PS5 and Nintendo Switch and and uh, Xbox. That they, they're it's not the same thing. It's a different thing, but I'm, I'm excited to play it. Um, was hoping for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 plus 2 switch port. Yes, absolutely. Why not, right? Uh, what do we got here? We will see Metroid in 2024. That's from Beige 6410. What are your thoughts on the Knockout City game, Wondersome? I, I have more faith in the developer and their creativity and their inventiveness than what I saw from the game. The game looks like a, a, a family-friendly uh, dodgeball hero non-shooter, um, which is cool. I mean, that's fine. But, uh, um, you know, it's a, bu it's a bunch of characters that are archetypes of different game properties, but they're not those characters. So you're going to be thinking about those all the time. So they spend a lot of time kind of setting that up. Um, and we've seen lots of hero type shooters kind of borrow that idea uh, and be very successful. Uh you know, there's room in that space. I don't know if it's a free-to-play experience. I don't know. Might be. Um, looked like it could be, actually. Looked like there was going to be a lot of customization and a lot of uh, uh, built-in uh, economy. Um, but I love that team. That's the X Vicarious Visions folks. Um, and and uh, that's Karthik Bala, and I forget his brother's name. But they have built us incredible software in the past. So I, I am happy for them. I hope it's great. Vic, are you still playing Animal Crossing? Scott, uh, Michael Hedge, I don't play it that often. I play it every once in a while, mostly because, you know, my daughter still does check in all the time. And she says, you got to check, you got to check out what's new in the update and stuff. So I'll, ch I'll definitely check out this new uh, Mario update. But you guys know, like, the way that I play stuff is so that I can come back and talk to you guys about it. So I don't really go back and play too much, uh, stuff that I've finished or have talked about that often. 
Spider-Man is the exception. Spider-Man, <laughs> both of them exist on my PS5, and I, that is the one... Uh, those two games are um, perpetual. Like, I'll go back to them and play for 20 minutes or whatever and just have a great time. But generally, I'm sort of moving on to the next things that I'm talking about. Um, thank you for the belated birthday greetings, Jamie. You rock. Uh, let's see. Daggie, pretty weak direct... Uh, Mr. Brock Rock, sports story is still in the works. Remember, small team. I think they got a, they got hit hard by COVID. Right, right, right. Um, right. The new update for Stardew Valley. Where is Shin Megami? Indeed, I guess that's going to be the next one. I think that uh, that's from Scott Michael Hedge. I think we're going to get more directs this year. I think uh, Nintendo has heard the um, criticisms about the lack of you know, killer new software, and they have to respond. I think that's what it's going to be about. I think cloud gaming is the future of gaming. What do you think about that, Vic? Uh, Nicola Rosa, I, I certainly think that the technology is incredible. Um, it's disconcerting, though, to see Stadia invest. I've talked about this on the, on the channel, so I'm, I'm repeating myself here a bit. But to see a player like Google come in and then say, oh, too expensive, we're out, is really disconcerting. Uh, but Microsoft has been making some amazing steps in this direction by offering cloud gaming as a conduit, as an extra for people that already have hardware that they can access the stuff on the cloud if they want to, like they they or they have an account with Microsoft. Um, I, I I think on a theoretical perspective, yes, the, you know the internet. If the internet is fast enough and the latency issues get figured out, um, and the value proposition is, you know, meet, meets or exceeds what Microsoft is doing with Game Pass. That's when it starts to get really compelling. And the Amazon Luna strategy looks like it's going in that direction. Facebook is, you know, taking baby steps into this space as well. Um, it is pretty impressive, though, when it's working properly. I've been, I've been genuinely, uh, you know, taken aback by how well Google Stadia has worked when I've played some of the games on there, I still prefer to play on a PS5 or a Switch or a, an Xbox Series platform, though, to, to be truthful, uh, than to stream it in. Um, but yeah, it feels like on the horizon, that kind of tech and that kind of access, I think it's more about the the library. It's less about the technology. It's more about the, the access to a lot of titles and that sort of like no brainer. Yes, I'm I'm going to subscribe and I'm going to be able to play all of that stuff, which is what Stadia didn't do, you know. They 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 th assumed that the tech would be enough to get people to forget about the traditional means of being able to access content and then um you still had to buy everything and that 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 just seemed wrong. Good question though. Uh this uh think uh, with EA bringing Plants vs. Zombies and Frostbite to Switch. We'll see more EA games, maybe sports titles ported to the Switch. Mr. Brockerock. Uh Yeah, I, I don't think it's their... You know, it's it's a question of resources internally, right? Like a lot of their developers are going to want to work on the state-of-the-art stuff to kind of make their names. Um, and the porting has always been less of a... God, EA's made so many games and they've got so many titles and so many franchises that they could be porting, but it's never been a priority for them. And I feel like the Switch isn't, you know? They want to access that that uh, potential audience, but they've always been timid about it. And that's disappointing, you know? They did an excellent job with Burnout Paradise Remastered, though. And uh, it would be good to see more stuff. It would be good to see the Mass Effect, uh, Leg Le the Legacy Edition, or is it Legendary Edition? It would be awesome to see that there, too. Um, we'll see. You know what will answer that question, Mr. Brockerock, is how the sales are for uh, Plants vs. Zombies. It's a great fit on the Switch platform. Uh, Brammer Hammer 23 says, I give it 6 out of 10. Some good stuff, some disappointing stuff. Lots of a year left for announcements, though. Absolutely. We're very early in the year. I would love to see more Mario Sports 2, Jose. I've been thinking about this. Why don't they just do a, uh, like, a, I, I, I don't know, some kind of arena, like Mario Sports Arena, and, the, and Mario can jump on a skateboard and play tennis and play some golf and baseball and basketball. That'd be great. They should do that. 
And where was that MLB The Show announcement? That's from Yadness13. Hmm. Jamie Andrews, yes, very weird that MLB The Show wasn't in there. Maybe it's not coming to the Switch. Maybe they couldn't work it out. It's going to be strange to see a PlayStation logo on a, a piece of Switch software. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, I'm I'm going to wrap this up because we can talk all day about this stuff. But what I want to do is I just want to see a stream of the game that you are most excited about that was in the Nintendo Direct today. So let me know what you think in the comments, and I want to read some of them. Like a Switch Sports, Mario Golf, Mario Strikers, Mario Tennis, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Yes, Jose, with Mar with the Mario characters, 100%. Jose says Mario Golf, Legend of Mana from uh, Liquid 3600, uh, Quaup. What's Quaup? <laughs> Halo Infinite was the <laughs> uh, not listed. <laughs> Cats and dogs living together. Mike Wilson with the PS logo on a Nintendo game. No More Heroes 3. Let's go. That's from Arian uh, Dehastani. Star Wars Hunters, Peter Kokosar. Having the faith. Hopefully it's great. I know that uh, um, the Zynga people definitely want to take our breath away with that. Fall Guys from Wondersome. Yeah, that's a good fit there. I forgot that that was in that thing. Mario Golf from Nick uh, Seabright and Charlie Jordan. No More Heroes 3. Triangle Tactics. Hmm, picking the good ones. Monster Hunter Rise. Golf for sure. With an F-O-R-E. Nice one, Fred. Uh, thank you, Clayton. Skyward Sword. Okay, Bloody Eyes 13. Uh, Jose is asking if he can use Mario Karts in Mario Golf. Somebody brought that up already earlier this year. God of War. There was no God of War in Smash announcement today. <laughs> Jamie's got a Skyward Sword in there. Yeah, there's some fun stuff, for sure. Uh, but you know what? That was hella fun to do that together. I, otherwise, I would have just been watching this alone, writing up some notes, and then putting together a, a rundown. What I'll do for tomorrow's rundown is I will encapsulate some of this in uh, in my thoughts and, and put my, a little bit more of my thoughts together, a little more cohesively. Uh, but thank you all for watching. You guys are incredible. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you dig our channel and our content, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, please comment on our videos. It helps a lot. Uh, and feel free to share any of the stuff that we're building as well. You guys are fantastic. Thank you, everybody. We will see you soon. And until then, play forever.